Yesterday, the FBI releases another bomb. Actually, it came public yesterday, but they did it Tuesday. They tweeted out saying, oh, we are just now releasing all the files relating to President Bill Clinton's pardon of financier, uh, commodities trader Mark Rich, whom he pardoned and shouldn't have. It was a bad pardon. This guy was a skunk. But anyhow, Bill Clinton pardoned him back in December, I think it was, of 1999, right at the very end of his presidency. It was another Clinton bombshell, and they released it, it came public, yesterday. So for with only a week to go before the election. So on top of the Hillary Clinton stink bomb, he drops a Bill Clinton stink bomb, this by the same James Comey. So to me, it raises the question, what the hell is going on? I think Comey got so much pressure from fellow Republicans, he's a Republican, named by President Obama, that he felt he had to show, well, really, I'm not on the Clinton side. Uh, I'm, really, I'm really against the Clinton, I guess, and I'm really for Donald Trump. Uh, and so it, it, the other question it raises to me is, how can he get away with this? Where is Loretta Lynch? Where, I mean, he, is, he may be the director of the FBI, but he's still a government agency. He is still one of the bureaus or one of the departments inside the Department of Justice. She is the attorney general. Why haven't we heard from Loretta Lynch since last Friday? Why haven't we heard from her since yesterday with these two bombshells dropped by James Comey? And why haven't we heard from President Obama? All we've heard is what Josh Ernest said at the briefing on Monday. The president doesn't believe that Director Comey is intentionally trying to influence the outcome of an election. The president doesn't believe that he's secretly strategizing to benefit one candidate or one political party. That doesn't add up. How can he not believe that Comey is trying to influence this election when twice in two days he drops bombshells about what the FBI is investigating related to Hillary Clinton and to Bill Clinton and not a word about the investigation, ongoing investigation about Donald Trump and his connections to the Russians. If that's not one-sided, I don't know what is. And again, I mean, I, I think it's important that Loretta Lynch speak up and say this is, uh, this is uh, unacceptable, this is outrageous, Comey abused his power by taking this step, and I think it's incumbent upon the President of the United States to say, yeah, I appointed him, and I didn't know at the time that he was a Republican political operative. I didn't know he was part of the Donald Trump machine. And I either fire him or at least rebuke him and condemn what he did. This silence from the White House has to stop. Condemn James Comey and do it publicly. Mr. President, you appointed him. He's your guy. Don't defend him now. <laughs> 